Well, all right, we're back for a Thursday shave this time. Oh, wait, Friday. Dang it, it's the fucking weekend. Friday shave. <clears throat> and we're going to be using some grooming department, Veritas. It has this cool old school artwork on it. Very nice. You can see my handprints on top. Um, so this was the uh, reproduction of the Veritas. The first version that went out didn't cure correctly. And it was still rather in liquid form, more or less. Uh, kind of like the consistency of like a milkshake. It was thick, but it was definitely still like in liquid form. So he sent out another batch. He said, you know, that was not supposed to happen. And um, free of charge. And he sent the second batch out. And this one is much more, much more firm. Although it is soft, this is the way that he wanted it to cure. So good stuff. It has this, you know, light cream color. And it's funny, I thought this was like really low scent strength. When I first opened it to bring it out for the shave, I was like, it's kind of like a three, it's kind of pathetic. I, I loaded my bowl, I took my shower, and when I opened the shower door, it was like I got hit in the face with a wave of fragrance. And I was like, whoa, that is not a three. So I think actually, it's probably more like a five or a six. I don't know what it was, maybe I just, maybe it was just a little bit too complex or whatnot, but I didn't get it all at first, but I'm getting it now. And what I'm getting is mostly, I'm getting leather up front, but then there's like these different sweet notes underneath. The, like Tonka and Cocoa and Cognac. And these are all, these are all scent notes. They're, they're much more in the background, but it kind of creates this like body underneath the leather. And it's, it's really quite nice. This was a Valentine's Day release, not this year, but the but last year, and it's real good stuff. This one, the Lusso base, which has all of this good stuff. I, I believe it's their beef tallow, but it also has Jersey cow milk right there. Um, he said it's one of his shorter ingredient lists, but very good base <clears throat> from what I remember. I don't, he doesn't make matching aftershaves, so what I did was I went with APR's and Noble Otter's collaboration Texas, which kind of has a similar vibe in my opinion. Just kind of like this light, everyday wear cologne type fragrance. Going to be of course going with uh, my one and only straight here, Scales by Osiris Blade Works. And this is a vintage Kukri blade, a Solingen German blade, 1116 square point. I got some soap loaded up in the Lancaster Bowl. And we got a new member to the Shave Den. And this one has been a long time coming. Particularly because the artisan wasn't making brushes for a while. But he got back in the shop and he started cranking out some bangers. And uh, this guy has kind of became a friend of mine. You know him from the bowl. The Lancaster Razor Works Bowl. You know him from the awesome Lancaster Razor Works Black Sheep Towel. You know him from my little sample of Lancaster Barbershop Soap that he sent along. From the beers that he sent me that I've showcased. And now we're moving on to the newest addition to the den. My Lancaster 26 millimeter Fan Badger. And look at this damn thing. Tell me that's not unique as all, like, tell me that's not unique. Who else has a bottom that's fluted like that? What is going on here? I don't know about you guys, but that is just beautiful. I had to have it. This is the first one he, he did up like this. And I think he's going to start making more in this design. But, uh, man, holy crap. It immediately, I was like, you got a banger. You got a winner. I ran the uh, knot through the Zingari Man all-purpose brush cleaner. So it should be good to go. Got any factory grime out of it. I will say, just rubbing it on my hand and whatnot, the knot felt very, very soft. So I'll just do a quick 
I, I took it out of the UPS packaging, which was just kind of like a plastic sleeve, but it came with bubble wrap. Just so you guys get an idea for um, Andre's packaging. <clears throat> it has this little uh, cardboard cylinder. It has the Lancaster sticker on the front. And then it says, life is like a mustache. Sometimes it tickles. So that's kind of cute. <laughs> um, so the brush was wrapped in this uh, soft paper. And then it was stuffed inside this plastic sleeve as well. Not over tightened or anything like that. Not super constricting. Just a little bit extra to keep it from knocking around and getting burrs. Which I will say, it, it's flawless. I looked it over, it's flawless. Came with a nice card, business card here. Very professional. He also had a much larger thank you card, handwritten, um, that I threw away already, but very professional. Very uh, top-notch packaging, really. Nothing bad to say about that whatsoever. So, enough rambling. Let's get on with this shave. Alright, so how's everybody doing? I, of course, am still at work. The post office is considered an essential essential duty, so we're pretty much going to be delivering rain, sleet, snow, sunshine, or virus. <laughs> we're going to be delivering pretty much no matter what. I actually... There was a few carriers in my office that were uh, sent home to get tested for coronavirus. So that's exciting. You know, kind of knowing that it's right there, right at my doorstep. <clears throat> so the fun is just about to begin, really. But it is what it is, you know. I'm going to keep doing my job and hopefully everything, you know, works out for the best, but it's right there. It's it's right at my doorstep. So that's going to be interesting. If if they turn up positive, which of course we're all hoping that uh that they come back clean and that they're uh, they get well soon if it's just a common cold or something like that. But If not, shit's about to get real, and we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Alright, I'm just going to keep adding water because it looks like it's just eating it up. Good looking stuff though. Looks dense. Um, I don't, this is my only grooming department soap that I have, and the only grooming department soap that I've ever had experience with. I know he has a ton of different uh, soap bases, and he's generally pretty highly regarded. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna get some water on the face now that we're eight minutes in or whatever. All right. So I have a couple ideas for some shaves coming up. I'm excited to do that. I'll get back to some of my, uh, my old um, things that I used to do to have fun. <clears throat> I used to uh, blend soaps and I wonder if any of you guys have ever done that but there will be a soap blending video coming soon I used to take two scents that I thought would complement each other put you know 50-50 in a bowl and get a lather going And you know, just see what see what happens. I will say this looks thin as hell. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on here. The knot feels fantastic. Andre uh, Andre asked me what loft I wanted, and to be honest, I've never got that technical before I've always just kind of 
just you know kind of went with the brush makers recommended i've never really had a problem other than other than one single brush which was my uh, alpha shaving brush i feel like it was set too low and because of that i don't feel like the knot splayed very well so I pretty much just told Andre exactly that. I was like, hey, as long as it, as long as it splays well, I won't have any problems. You know, so I told him don't set it too low, but um, I just want it to splay well. You know, that's all I pretty much asked for. So that's what we got. So here we go. Pass one with the green. It's so easy to get that line with a straight razor. It's awesome. <clears throat> Had a couple hairs sticking out right there. Trying to maintain light pressure. Keeping my angle right. So this blade still feels, still feels super smooth. <clears throat> go ahead and uh, get this soap off of there looking good definitely shaving so what I'm going to do now that I haven't been doing is I'm going to switch hands shit's about to get really real the right hand, I do feel pretty comfortable with. I know it's only three shaves in, but I do feel pretty comfortable with it. So we're about to get really real and go with the opposite hand here. If I can find a grip. <clears throat> oh, baby. <laughs> I don't even know how to go about, <laughs> I don't even know how to go about this. This is why I wanted to be a one-handed uh, straight razor shaver. <laughs> All right, let me get you guys so you can see this madness. <clears throat> All right, so far so good. I'm definitely over here, you know, clenching my asshole, but so far so good. One good thing about having the beard is that I have something to stretch the skin with, even if I do have soap on my face. All right. Let's see here. Okay. 
Okay, too high, too high. I have a little, you know, pimple right here that I was trying to ride over. Not too bad. I did get myself. There's a little bit of blood right there. <clears throat> Not too bad just yet. It's definitely, uh, I don't feel in control, you know, like I did with my right hand. I do not feel in control with my left. <clears throat> but I had multiple more experienced shavers tell me to uh, go for, go for uh, learning with the left hand. So let's see if you guys can see there. I definitely got myself. Everywhere else looks good though. We're going to try to get this pass two against the grain in. And hopefully we can not mess everything up. But you never know. I'd say the scent is still very much there. Probably a uh, 4 or 5 out of 10. It's still there. Still get that leather pretty prominent. Now, I don't know if this new brush just ate my lather or if I didn't load enough lather or load enough soap. I don't know what the deal is, but I definitely don't have much left, surprisingly. That's kind of unfortunate. But we're gonna we're gonna make do because one thing I've never really one thing I've never really bought into was that you needed a whole hell of a lot of lather to get a good shave. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with that base. As you can see on the soap tub that I uh, showed you guys, you can still see the uh, top of the soap. I think I've only used this once or twice. This is just pretty much gone, man. Holy crap. So I don't know what happened here. I definitely don't think I overhydrated it. It's just like it dissipated almost like Williams. Anyhow, with the very lightest sheen, we're going to do our against the grain pass. Not because I'm trying to be a uh, fucking badass or anything like that. Not at all. But I really think so long as you have a layer of slickness on your, on your face, you don't need all that cushion. <clears throat> all right. Let me get a comfortable grip here. All right. It's almost tacky though. Really quite strange. <clears throat> I don't remember this happening the previous times, but it's been so long that it very well have could have happened. I don't know. I know my beard usually takes its cut of uh, the lather, but I don't. I normally don't have this problem, so I'm really wondering what's going on.
It's funny how comfortable I feel with this, um, with my right hand. And of course, I mean at this stage in my rate in my straight razor shaving. <clears throat> All right, so slickness is there, at least for now. I don't know how long it's going to stay there, but definitely, uh, definitely strange what the hell's going on here, you know? Definitely feels more tacky up on the top of my cheek. It happened over here, too. I don't know what the hell that's about. At least I can see my lines pretty well, <laughs> if nothing else. Is this the correct grip? <clears throat> Is that the correct grip? No. Hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You're gonna have to bear with me with this fucking shit. I don't know. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely going to take some time to get comfortable with this left hand, but let's feel around. See, it feels pretty damn close. I wouldn't say BBS, especially right on my Adam's apple where my swirl is. I'm going to have to find a way to get BBS on that swirl. <clears throat> but I'm really just taking it kind of day by day with my straight. Not trying to do more than I have to. But I am kind of thinking, how am I going to go about getting this on my neck, you know? Well, that feels pretty good. I don't know. I'm not gonna overdo it. I did get a pretty good shave. I got that weeper over here, but it's going to happen until I get more comfortable with my left hand and really with my right hand. You know, I'm going to make mistakes with my right hand too. I'm positive. <clears throat> I feel pretty comfortable with it and I feel like I'm going to learn quickly, but <clears throat> there are going to be bumps along the road. You know, there's just no two ways around that. So... I don't know what the hell happened with the lather. That was some strange shit. I feel like I used the same amount of soap I used for almost all my soap bases, which is about an almond size amount of soap. But it kind of just dissipated like uh, Williams. Either that or, you know, my brand new Badger brush ate a bit of it, which 
it's possible. You know, animal hair brushes do. That's where the whole term lather hog came from. Is a uh, brush kind of takes it and won't give it back. So I think that's what happened here. Either that or I just underloaded. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with this base. I've only used it probably once or twice before this. And even that, they were kind of spaced out. <clears throat> but it did provide slickness. I would say lather stability was kind of poor. I really don't think I overhydrated this one, guys. It just kind of disappeared, you know? But we still managed a good shave. Like I said, I'm not up here trying to look like a fucking badass or anything like that. But I really do think people take put too much stock in how the lather looks instead of how it's performing. And if you could get a good shave, it doesn't matter what the hell it looks like, you know? Now granted, you can have fun building a big ass lather but don't don't tell me or anyone else that you need to have a voluptuous cloudy lather because you don't <clears throat> as you saw as was demonstrated that was see-through it was barely there and i just relied on the slickness alone and it it, it did me well so <clears throat> all right We'll do a quick, uh, quick recap. Grooming department, Luso base, Veritas. I don't think this is a ba base he's going to keep. And I have no idea if it was because of feedback or maybe just, you know, he had trouble getting um, some of the ingredients. But I don't think this is one he's going to keep going forward. Obviously, this has already been out for a year. I don't even think it's offered anymore, but I could be wrong. But the fragrance is very nice. I do enjoy it. Of course, I use my Lancaster bowl with my new Lancaster brush. The beauty. I'm thinking of doing a uh, brush series, kind of called like uh, like the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Nothing to do with the coronavirus. I've been thinking about this for a while. And when I saw this brush, I was thinking this could be like the white horse, you know, the, the horse that arrived first was the white horse and the horse rider was wearing a crown. I don't know, but it kind of fits the bill and I'm thinking of calling this, you know, the white rider. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to have that be the beginning of the uh, four horsemen, but it definitely fits the bill. So all right, Noble Otter, APR, Texas. Awesome collaboration. Noble Otter's Aftershave Base, APR's Fragrance. Of course, I got a little bit of sting over the Weeper. But other than that, feels pretty good. And this, I do feel like is in the same vein. Um... Not an exact match, but definitely close. I mean, they're definitely in the same vein. At least to my nose. I don't have the scent notes for this one, but like I said, it's like a cologne type that's um, really good for year-round, any occasion, work, dates, casual, so there it is, guys. There's my shaver. I'm really loving this thing. I'm getting great shaves out of it. I think the uh, hone and overall um, blade feel is very comfortable. And uh, yeah, I'm just, you're going to start seeing that in the majority of my shaves. I'll probably throw in like one or two DESE shaves a week until I feel pretty damn proficient with that straight. I want to master it and I want to bring you guys along for the journey. So. That's that. Um, think about 
soaps that you want that you might blend. Like, you know, get two soaps with fragrances that you think might complement each other. And uh, get some shaves in blending soaps. I know I am pretty soon. If not my very next shave, maybe, you know, the one after that. So that's it for me, guys. Have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. And uh, if I just stop making videos altogether, you'll know shit hit the fan. All right, I'm out.